Are we really on a journey to autonomous dri driving? What does it mean and why do we want to go there? Well, I, I definitely think we are because I think when you look at the technology and especially if you look at the mega trends uh, across the globe of people are moving into more urban communities, uh, when you also look at the congestion that exists today, whether you're in China or Europe or North America, uh, the, that's technology that can add real value to the customer. And not to say that you're still not going to get excited about having to drive your vehicle, but we've all been in you know bumper to bumper traffic that we wish would improve or we wish that we could multitask. I think you know we're on a journey to do that. I think one so, of so congestion, it helps in congestion right. because you can drive closer together, because you can multitask. What's the Yes and yes. Both. Yes. Yes. So you can get more cars on the road, right, more, more efficiently to where they're going, right, exactly. and you can do other things while you're doing it. Absolutely. And so, um, but I also think one of the big things, I mean, just think about it the next time you're in your car, how comfortable would you feel if you had to take your hands off the wheel? Not very. And so I think it's a journey we're on, um, and that's why it'll be step by step with some of the technologies we, we have in vehicles today that we're putting in to get the, uh, the consumer comfortable with that and understand the value and understand how the system well, ultimately works. Ultimately, it's a plus for safety, or it should a be, oh, shouldn't it, it? Absolutely, if done well, and that's what we're working on. And you say it's a journey we're on. Is it a journey that we will get to some sort of a destination in your term as CEO? Uh, well, again, over the, uh, the next decade, I think there's gonna be, we're gonna drive this change, and we have a roadmap uh, that takes us you know, through several years, and you know, we're, we're busy implementing it. So within your term as CEO? You know, uh, I, I, the board makes that call. I'm just doing my job every day. Uh, and and the, co the connected car, I mean, new cars now are almost, uh, they're incredibly complex entertainment systems in mm -hmm. some ways. Uh, uh, how are you thinking about that? Because that obviously can have an uh, averse effect on safety. Right, and that's why, to me, anything, especially that we put into the cockpit where the driver is, has to be done well from an intuitive, uh, reducing driver distraction. Uh, and so we look at everything we do from that perspective. But then, you know, I think it, it's so much farther than, you know, I'll say the, the entertainment piece about it. When you have that kind of activity, I was talking to someone backstage who just uh, presented about, you know, big data and how we can mine data from the car to, again, it's all about creating value for the customer. So uh, if we can tell you something is going to wear out or if we can tell you, uh, you know, as you're making your drive how to make that more efficient, those are all things that I think are, are coming and, and you know, very generally, I'll, I'll share that we're working on uh, in using the data, using the connectivity, so much farther than, you know, obviously streaming um, videos to the back seat are, are important, but it's much more than that of what we can do uh, from uh, mirroring uh, not only the entertainment piece, but the data that we can get from the car itself. Key issue there, though, is making sure you do it correctly from a privacy perspective and do it right from a cyber uh, perspective. And so those all have got to be done well for this to be something that I think uh, is, is with us 10 years from now. I believe it will be. Will GM be a pioneer in that area? Well, I think we already uh, have made announcements of what we're going to do in two years, calendar year 16, on um, two of our upcoming Cadillacs with having the first vehicle that has uh, V2V, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle capability to interface, and then also a product that we call Super Cruise that lets you take your hands off the wheel.